What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Hermcast episode 4, I believe it is. I don't know where Donald is. He went somewhere. Um, but it's just me for right now. I think he's in the bathroom. He whatever, he told me to start it. I don't know. But uh we're back. We have another episode. Um in the future we plan on getting guests. It's going to be um we have more stuff planned, but we do have a lot of topics to get to. What the fuck is that? Is that is that Donald? Someone's in a... What the fuck? <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dude, those things work good, man. Dude, what's going on? You had the here? flashlight on them, man. Uh, uh, no, I turned them on. I couldn't see out there. So. Uh... Yeah, we're good. All right, so we got a bunch of topics today. I don't know if we're going to get through all of them. I have a bunch of stuff. Um, Donald has a bunch of stuff, too. We're going to try and keep the uh, stuff around. We're going to try and keep it around like a hour and a half long. But, um, you know, we'll see what happens. If it, if it goes a little, I'd say if it goes a little longer, then, you know, it does. But it is what it is. There's always that goal. So. <laughs> Hair update, gnarly hair update. Hair is growing out, still not cutting it. We're gonna see. Yep, um, I'm I'm about a week in, so. <laughs> yeah. All right. <clears throat> so, to start it off, man, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater One Plus Two remastered remake, remake, right? What do we, what are we calling it? What is it? Oh, uh, I'd say remastered. It's. They're just yeah, remaking like, the game. Extreme so. remaster. Like, this is... Cause oh, they've, yeah. They've had HD versions of the other ones. Mm -hmm. But this is, like, a real, real overhaul. And um, so what they're doing now with the new technology and stuff, they're making it so that all of the skaters that are in the game have are, are using, like, face scans now. So they don't look as young as they used to. They, they all look older and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So that's cool. But I think that's pretty cool how they're doing that, though. Making it look like how they look now, not yeah. how they looked 20 years ago when the game came out. Yeah. It's pretty good. And pretty uh, cool. it's cool because we were talking about this. Literally, we were saying we need a new skate game or whatever. Right? I know. Was the, literally, the next day, they released that. They, yeah. They're going to be remaking the games. It's that was wild. Yeah. Crazy. And uh, there's a lot of new uh, skating games being announced and talked about. Uh, mm -hmm. Just all. I, I've. I, Today, I've seen a new trailer for another skating game. And I don't know why it's making a comeback. I don't know. It's just interesting, you know? I think it's because of just the, the hype of people wanting Skate 4. Yeah. So all these other companies are just making skating games. And it's just... Like, they want to they wanna be the, the people or, like, the, the one company that's actually bringing the skating game back. But, uh... They're literally all releasing them around the same time, so it's. I think it kind of backfired yeah. in a lot of those people's minds. Yeah, it'll be fun though. I haven't kinda played a skating. It's been so long since I've played a skating game, so. It's good. It's like because skating yeah. games are fun. You want to try and get the high scores and stuff like that. Just it's just it's a, it's a fun thing to do. You know, I, I don't know. It's like mm -hmm. uh, open world, like sandboxy style thing. I don't know. There's something about it. You know what I mean? It's really satisfying. You know, you get different types of boards. You can, you know, usually... I don't know about the Tony Hawk Pro Skater games. I didn't play those ones specifically all that much, but I don't know if you can, like, customize your outfits or your characters or whatnot, but, like, stuff like that. I, th I think you can. I think you can make your own character in the game, but I think for the most part, you, you're you using, like, skaters that already exist. Yeah. So. And I don't... I wonder... Yeah. Because like I said, I haven't played those ones that much. And I don't know if this was in those games, this feature, or if it's going to be implemented. But I know in some of the Tony Hawk games, you're able to create your own skate parks and stuff. That would be cool, too, if, mm -hmm. if this is a feature as I well. Think they're, I think they're doing that, though. I think every single feature that was in those original two games are going to be in the remakes. That's cool. Which I think is exactly how they should be doing it. Yep. They shouldn't take anything away. They shouldn't add anything extra. Just leave it to how the games were 
because uh, there's a lot of companies that remake games that literally ruined the game because of the things that they did. Yeah. Um, speaking of, since we're on the topic of just game companies doing stuff that people want, I know we were talking about it the other day. Uh, you, you were saying WWE is doing polls for the next one. Yeah. That's cool. So, like, all right, so, so they put out a poll specifically, though, or it's like you, people could say what they want? What, what's that? So about? with it, it's it's a form on let me, actually let me let me look it up while i i talk about it um so they released on their twitter uh a form where fans of the game can obviously just go and uh, submit their own things that they want in the game so just anything anything you could think of from past games you know custom ideas or whatever and there's like, by the looks of it, I can possibly send you the picture if you want to put it in this yeah, I'm sure. podcast or not. But everything on the top is, like, maybe the top five are things that people have been begging for for years. That they just need to bring back just to revive the freaking, uh, just the whole franchise. Yeah. And they got an extra year to do it, so that's good. Yeah, yeah, we uh, we definitely need stuff like that. And uh, let me just check my list. Yeah, this isn't on there. So quickly, we could talk about the new COD if you want to talk about that. So I don't did we? I don't know if we yeah. mentioned it on the previous one, but the name was leaked. I don't think we did. This is around the time where the leaks are basically real, and um, so I have a bunch of things to say about. I don't like the name. That's the first thing this, I have to say Okay, about. so the title, let's get to it. Call of Duty... What is it? Vietnam... It's, Co- so oh, it's wait. it's Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War. Yeah. The title is way too long. Too long, and the thing that I, that it makes me They think need to of, get rid of Black Ops. They just need to they, do Cold War. They want to... St- and, and I just feel like it's one of those things where it's like, all right, if we don't stick with the Black Ops, then it's like... Because that's their thing. You know, that's Treyarch now. But, it's um, just like the it's like it's the, Activision is afraid just in general to name all their games something different than what they've that they know have been working. Yeah. So like Modern Warfare, they're just starting it all over again. I don't want to see them do that with Black Ops. The thing like that they, sucks too. They had what? Yeah. Four of them and I well, think well, they should stop at four. This one is titled Call of Duty, Black Ops, Cold War. Black Ops 1 was in the Cold War, so is this just another Modern Warfare from this COD that we just got? Like, is it just going to be no. a reimagining? That's what I'm thinking it's going to be. I hope... I'd, I mean, it shouldn't. It shouldn't. I, I really hope it's not because... I don't know. That was, like, one of the most... Just like Modern Warfare, the, that storyline mm-hmm. was incredible. And I don't think they did a bad job with this Modern Warfare story. I thought it was incredible. The new re- yeah, reimagining it was, it was, it was amazing. phenomenal. It was amazing. But I don't know. I just feel like the reimagining... I don't see it's a It's going to get older it. really quick. I don't know. I, I feel like it really did work well with the Modern Warfare game because it's something that, like, they made it really realistic. It was, like, helmet mm-hmm. cam footage of a real soldier, that, yeah, this, yeah. and that. We can kind of relate to that. There are soldiers right now in real life that do experience that and stuff. So, and we see this stuff like it on the news and you know stuff like that. It's more relatable to this era that we're living in. But yeah, in, yeah. like, if they do like a reimagining and try and, I, I I feel like they could do a really good job with it. But I don't know. I don't really want to see. see I it. I don't think they should do the whole reimagining thing. Um, but. They literally, ha- they basically have, or had like a year to do this game, because they're you know the whole cycle. It was supposed to be Sledgehammer Games. They're supposed to be next. Yeah. But they dropped the ball, and Treyarch started taking over it. Like I think it was like towards the end of last year. So they have maybe exactly a year till the release date. So it, I could see them actually just doing the reimagined Black Ops series yeah. because it would just be easy to do 
because they already have all the assets and everything and it would, it, it'd be just easy on their part yeah. and they wouldn't have to work as hard especially in like how the world is right now yeah and there's no doubt in my mind too like with the title of it being cold war there's no doubt in my mind that even if it's not a reimagining it's going to at least have characters from black ops one in it because it's Mm -hmm. in the same era i just don't see them not doing it like if it's in the same war of course they're gonna have the same people i'm sure woods may have his return yeah maybe mason all that stuff so i don't know it'll be interesting but there's one thing that i saw on twitter today i don't have the link to it but i may have sent it to you i'm not sure i don't think i did though but it was someone um pointing out the fact that um, it's cool that we're we're seeing another collab with Treyarch and Infinity Ward in the sense of it's like the roles are reversed. So in Black Ops 3, which was Treyarch's game, they promoted Infinity Ward's game, which was Infinite Warfare in the map Nuketown mm-hmm. um, 2025, I think was the name of it. Um, in that map, they, uh, or nu- Nuketown 3, Nuk 3 Town, they... Uh, had like a collaboration Not where he, at, at uh, inside of the map there were like these billboards that you know futuristic so there was like yeah, um, yeah, yeah. animations on them but it would show like you know that I guess the enemy of the game's logo or whatever and then at the end there was like a spaceship when the when the nuke went off in the map a spaceship mm. would appear and stuff so that was their little shout out and um, now in Warzone we're seeing a bunker being opened and it looks like it's old fashioned from that Cold War era and there's a nuke inside of the bunker and whatnot, I believe. So sort of like a collab. And there's th- more stuff is gonna be happening. Well, with there being a nuke in the bunker, it kind of it d- doesn't really mean that it's for the next COD. Yeah. Because there's nukes in modern warfare. Well, the thing that makes so me it, think, though, is the fact, because when you go in the bunker, it really looks old, like like no one's been there in a long time, like a Black Ops 1 style look to it. And the game, if I'm not mistaken, it takes place in Warzone, it takes place in like Russia, and obviously like the mm-hmm. Cold War was between like the United States and Russia, and it was, you know, tensions between nukes, right? So, yeah. kind of makes sense. We'll see how it goes, though. Um, hopefully, zombies makes a a return like in a good way because it's been getting weird zombies has been getting weird lately you know what if I mean? they're gonna bring back zombies they need to go back to the roots that's what i mean don't add, don't add aliens Nothing don't crazy. add like there's the marvel don't add stuff, like this that? weird like space stuff the you know the mo- a lot different of, yeah. different dimensions for just do just do a typical like nazi zombie thing you know yeah like I, I mean, yeah. I, Black, just make it simple. Black you know? Ops One did it good. They innovated, but not too much. You know what I mean? They had the um, yeah. I, I can't think of, of the ag- exact names of the enemies, but like um, you would kill them and they would blow up in, in a gas cloud or whatever. Yeah, like yeah. those things, stuff like that. It was fine. It was good. They did a good job with it. I hope we. we could, I'm sure we'll get like a zombies mode or something. Uh, I don't know, but that's all we have so far. I think um, on the Call of Duty news. Mm-hmm. You did mention that it's going to be hopefully on the same engine as Modern Warfare, like how it's all yeah, realistic. They, they, they mentioned when Modern Warfare came out that Call of Duty going forward was going to be on that same engine, yeah. which is good news. I love, yeah, I really do love that style. And yeah, so I don't know, but see so yeah, how that goes. Do you have anything or you want me to keep going? Uh, I keep, keep, keep on keeping on. All right, so... <laughs> Six nine, always in the news. Uh, uh, six nine, yeah. Catch him at the chicken spot. Um, no blick riding around these parts. We don't allow any of that. He's been beefing with Snoop Dogg. I don't know if you've seen any of that. He's yeah, been clowning I, I him. heard about that. He posted a picture of him on Instagram. He said he posted a Google search of Snoop Dogg's <laughs> age, and I was blown the fuck away that Snoop Dogg is only one year older than Eminem. He's like 48. Yeah. The dude looks ancient. He looks like he's fucking 50. I think it's because he's been around for so long, and I think it's with the amount of weed that he's smoked. I think it's like it's it, not it might just be his hair. The, the hair might be throwing it off for me. You know what I mean? It, his yeah, it could be. hair looks really gray. I don't know. I don't, hey, much love to Snoop Dogg. He's he's a legend. Like, 
I don't know. I just found that funny. Um, so six nine's been beefing with him, and uh, I don't know. He's it's just uh, it's just an interesting thing. I thought I'd bring it up. You know, an but ongoing. That's six nine's such a troll. <laughs> that's what I love. And just the fact that Snoop actually like was pissed at him for like, because I'm pretty sure he said something about um, like no like. I think uh, Six Nine said like, "Oh, no one said anything about uh, Snoop when he ratted on whatever." Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah, something. He just and uh, Snoop just came back pissed and like, "I didn't rat on anyone. Like, I didn't do nothing. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm good." He's like, "Keep your name out my mouth." Yada yada. And it's like, dude, just relax. He's just he's trolling. Yeah, that's just what he does. That's what his intention is to get you mad and get you talking about him so that he stays relevant. That's what he wants. He yeah. loves that. But I, yeah, that's funny. But in the in the lane of rapper news, uh, DMX and Eminem they joked about rap battling each other, and now people are saying DMX would win. What do you think about that? <laughs> People are taking DMX's side in a rap battle. So I actually recently, um, you know, do you know who uh, Merculus is? No. So he's he's a rapper. He's another white rapper. I know. I know you got a thing against white rappers. <laughs> I just don't listen um, to them. <laughs> but he's he's actually like he's a beast. Like yeah. he's he's an animal. I think you would like him. Um, and he on his last album he had a song. He had a song with Tech Nine. And he had a song with DMX. And the song with DMX, I'm not gonna lie, dude, it's a freaking banger. Really? Like I it's it go he goes off. That's dope. But uh like I I know DMX he has like it he can rap. He's he's not a bad rapper. Um he's been around for a long time. But when it comes to Eminem, dude, you can't <laughs> I, it, like I don't think anyone can get on at the same level as him yeah because he's just when it comes to his lyrics he's just so above everyone yeah and he, the man freaking like studies the dictionary like that was the first you can't beat, he ever read you can't beat back. someone yeah. yeah you can't beat someone that has done that like it's yeah so i think it's just people being dumb if they're literally thinking dmx out of all people will be eminem in a rap battle We'll see what happens. Hopefully it happens just for fun, like a back and forth. They did both joke about it, saying like that would be funny to do. I'd like to see them do a song together. Yeah, 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 yeah. We'll see. How I think there could be a, like a, if you have like, um, music to be murdered by Eminem and DMX yeah. on a song, I think it would, it would be like a good banger. Definitely. But if you had like Revival M and dmx eh, that's too that. eminem was really <laughs> sensitive i think on that album oh yeah definitely yeah. definitely he uh man that's yeah i don't know i, I dropped the ball with that one I, just as a little side thing i i don't know i feel like people i don't know just the suit I, I saw a stupid instagram post by like a major like one of those rapping the, the uh instagram profiles that just cover rap music and stuff and they were yeah, like yeah who would you like to see an album from this year, Eminem or Jay-Z? And I was like, yo, Eminem already dropped an album this year. What's going on, <laughs> man? But I would like to see a Bad Meets Evil 2 this year. I mean, come on, man. What's going Dude, on? Dude, I just want to see, like, I just want another album. For, like, his last two have just been they straight really, bangers. Yeah, yeah. And he just, he just needs to keep on that. The trend. The trend of... Because he, he is capable. He's someone who has so much experience and like just, like he knows what people want now. He has so much experience and knowledge and, and and dedication to it that he could if he wants to he could drop an album every couple months. Obviously that's not what we want. Put more time into it yeah. go ahead. But he has the capability to drop an album back to back every year, which I mm -hmm. feel like he's starting to realize that that is the way of the music industry now. Yeah. And that's a good thing and I hope he keeps at it. You know what I mean? I feel like that's a really good thing. Hopefully we keep seeing. Like, I I definitely think he should try to do the like every every year an album. Yeah, it's good. Maybe two, maybe yeah, two. Maybe two. Yeah. Yeah. We, we one be at opposed. the beginning, one in the middle. So you're good. Yeah. And yeah. maybe one at I'm, the end, maybe three yeah. a year. I don't know. I just I just want some new music, man. 
Like I've put out a couple singles so at least, you know, a couple. Yeah, little... you just have some more features. Do a freestyle. Like he would probably have be featured on more songs, but this whole virus is just ruining everything. So he's not able to like you know do what? all that. You know what I would think, man? Like, what if if the because like you know the newer rappers they're younger and stuff like that and a lot of the younger rappers don't really have respect for Eminem and that generation. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like especially Eminem. I mean though. So it's like I wonder what type of collabs we would see if people from way like if this whole generation of rap had more respect for him you know what i mean and, and just that yeah. shit in general i don't know maybe he would hop on a lot more songs i don't know we'll see though dude i want to see an m and uh this is probably will sound weird but an m and post malone i could i could see it i i could see that if like if you listen to post his last album, it was kind of more like a rock themed, a little bit. I think if you had that post and Eminem, because Eminem has had like be... rocks, he samples a lot of rock. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, like I think I think it'd be it'd be a banger. Yeah, I could see Eminem featuring him. I I don't think I would see. Like him. I'm surprised he hasn't. Yeah. Like especially on um. Uh, kamikaze no no music, music to be murdered by because he like he had people on there that he featured before obviously yeah but then he had uh was a young ma yeah or yeah. young ma yeah, whatever young you, however you say her young name MMA. had juice had um i'm pretty sure there's ed, ed sheeran ed sheeran ed sheeran like you could have obviously done other people that you haven't worked with before like, yeah. yeah, but we'll see how how it goes in the future. Hopefully, like I said, okay. hopefully we get something soon. Mm -hmm. Even though he just fucking dropped something, but like, yeah, yeah, we'll see. Dude, you need to listen to KSI's album. I'm not. <laughs> I don't want it's to. It's called the Simulation, dude. It's got um, it's got a it's got a couple of good songs. On He's the... got an Offset song on I there. Do like Offset's cool. I like Offset. He's got a a trippy red song. Hmm. Uh, he's got, uh, SX, Lil Baby, and Rick Ross. Like, he's, he's got some good songs, I'm telling you. On the His Offset song is probably my favorite on it. Really? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's catchy. On catchy the topic fuck. of Eminem, though, the 20th anniversary Elmer. of which album? Marshmallows LP 1? Yep. How yep. many, uh, so it went diamond in the first fucking week. So diamond is when it, when a song or an album, either one, it, it, some, something to go diamond, it, it has to have over a million sales on it, I believe. Right. Yeah. I think so. Or 10 million. I, I think either a million or 10 million. I'm not, I'm not exactly sure. I think platinum is a million. I don't know. Either way though. Insane. That's insane. Oh. Almost two million sales in the first week, mm -hmm. though. That's insane, dude. And he was number one for two months, like the number one sold album for two months straight. Yeah, it's crazy because like, and I'm sure a huge amount of that success obviously was because of the song "Stan." That was the biggest shit out there. Mm -hmm. Um, isn't it crazy to think that Eminem created a word for the dictionary? "Stan." That's an actual word now. It means yeah, like an yeah. overly obsessed fan. It's crazy, and all the people. Everyone uses that word nowadays. Everyone, even if you don't like Eminem, I see people that hate Eminem use the word. So yeah. it's it's really cool it's, to see that he was able to do that. He had some good shit, dude. Stanley he's, Mathers. He's given us some new words. Yeah, and it's cool because, <laughs> you know, I'm a fan of the second album, the second LP, um, and on there the first. So just just wait, freaking. Uh, we'll have a, a new word in the dictionary. It'll yeah. Be Hermana. <laughs> 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 but um. Yeah, I, I, just speaking of Stan, though, I, I really like the song Bad Guy. Doo -doo -doo. No, not that one. Yeah. <laughs> the um, Bad Guy, the first track off of the Marshall Mathers. <laughs> Doo -doo. The first track off of Marshall Mathers oh. LP2, Bad Guy, which was um, basically Doo -doo. from the perspective of Stan, the guy in the Stan song, uh, his brother going and he kills him. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. An Elmer, <laughs> dude. Why? Uh, all right. So, 
Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't with this guy. Do you have anything, or do you want me to keep going? Ah, uh, just just keep going, dude. You're on a roll. I, honestly, I I didn't really save much. Okay. And everything that I went to save, you would literally send me really? screenshots of it or the link. So I'm like, well, what's the okay, point? Like, right. I'm... Um, so uh, apparently the PS5 apparently. is apparently. better than high-end PCs, according to Epic Games. Apparently. Now, I have the link. I will link you it. See, I heard. So spec-wise, it's not the group. It's not better than the new xbox it's like uh slightly like downgraded compared to the xbox series x or whatever it's called Mm -hmm. um but the uh ssd that's in it is like like developers are saying it's like top of the line like better than any pc something we have ssd seen yet. that you can get like it's fat it's the fastest ssd you can get anywhere so sony really put uh put the work in on that and i think that could save the when it comes to like specs it could be like oh xbox series x has is better you know other parts <laughs> Just better, you know, chipset, yada yada. Mm-hmm. Um, but the PlayStation, though, that sucker's fast. Like you can load games in like point one second, you know. So I, I think I, dude, PlayStation, dude, I'm telling you, I, I forever they'll be in my my heart. Definitely, definitely. And um, <clears throat> now I know you speaking just real quick that we're speaking of we're going to get back to the ps5 in just a second i'm going to link you this you could just look at the thumbnail we don't have to watch the video because it's really long but um if you want to check it out on your own you could skip to 10 minutes into the video where he shows off the pc dr disrespect shows it, off his it just new blows my mind 315 thousand dollar gaming pc so oh. i linked it to you on twitter if you want to check it out just skip to 10 minutes in he gets to the um he shows it off and um, the thing has about 14 fans in it. It is insanely heavy. It had to be delivered on a pallet jack or whatever it's called. And apparently the guy who was delivering it almost dropped the shit on the ground and he almost flipped out. So absolutely insane. Well, I would flip out too with a freaking yeah. $300,000 PC. So I'm sure okay. that this company sent it to him for free. I would imagine it was a collab, but that is more than a house. You know what I mean? That is more than a car that is an insanely expensive computer and i don't i don't know shit about computers i don't know how that could be that expensive the parts in that must be absolutely i I don't understand though like how like how is how could it possibly be that expensive i don't know like what yeah I, i don't know it's it's absolutely insane though i just wanted to see what you thought about it like I've never heard of a computer that expensive. I don't look into computers, but that is just insane. I mean, he like does. It's... Yeah, he does a size comparison too, showing it next to his regular PC, and it is massive. So, like, it's def. It definitely is overkill. Yeah. Like. Oh yeah. Definitely way. Everything's water cooled. Like custom everything's custom for it but i don't see how it's freaking that much money i don't know that's the guy's got freaking eight sticks of ram in that thing like what do you need that yeah. for I heard he the has, most like, you need is maybe cards. like 32 32 gigs of ram like you can run freaking you you play COD on that freaking eight gigs yeah. of RAM and it runs fine. Yeah. Like I don't. I don't know. I, I was talking to Bubba about it. He was flipping out. He was like, "This is crazy." You know, he was losing his mind. Um, I was thinking like, obviously, it's gonna be incredible on his end playing it, and you know, for streaming and stuff like that. I'm sure it's incredible. You know, performance, oh, yeah. but like. For the viewer's end, I'm sure there's not much of a difference because you can only output so much in a stream. You know, like there's only so Mm -hmm. much that you could view in a video on a stream. So 
on the viewing end, you might not see much of a difference, but I'm sure it's spectacular on his end. I'm sure he's able to do so much more, though, um, for the stream with that, too. So, And I'm sure it's promoting whoever, I forgot who gave him the computer, but whatever brand gave it to him, is it's a great promotion for them, for their parts. It was like Cyber Power or something like that. So yeah. I don't remember, but yeah, that's... I couldn't imagine spending that much on a computer. I don't Even know. if it was like my job to be on the computer. Yeah. I, and I feel like, like the most have... I'd spend is maybe five grand. They must have given like, it to him. That's a free. lot. They must have given it to him for free. I, I, I don't know, know, dude. He makes that much money in like a week of streaming. <laughs> maybe even a day. No, like, I don't you never think he know. makes that much money. But I, I, I feel like it must have been for free for like a collab promotion, though. Maybe. Like, not. I think it, I'm pretty sure they're one of his sponsors. Yeah. So that. I don't know. It's just, that's freaking wild. So, back to the PS5, though. Not only is it uh, apparently better than high-end PCs, um, apparently uh, PS5 is approximately 100 times faster than the PS4, says the CEO of Sony mm -hmm. in, a, in a press conference, or in a, in, a, in a meeting that he did, I guess, or something like that. Um, and we've seen, you know, a, a, a video of them on Spider-Man PS4, that game doing yeah. like a comparison of the loading times and it is insanely fast but yeah i mean what do you think about that 100 a hundred times faster it's crazy to think because the ps4 came out in 2013 yeah. seven years ago and technology in seven years hasn't changed that much like, obviously, graphics cards get better. Processors have started to get faster. Like, there's, you know, RAM is getting even better every year. The, you know, storage is getting amazing. But it's it's crazy. Like, I'm starting to think that when they made the PS4, they didn't use, like, high-end stuff. <laughs> they, they, I think they, they kind of went a little cheap with it. Yeah. Because if you look look at the gap from like PS3 to PS4, it's not that big of a difference. Mm -hmm. It's maybe a little like cleaner, but it's not like crazy. But it's, I definitely believe that uh, it's it's a hundred times faster. Like I can yeah, I can see it. I'm curious on the price of what it's gonna be. You know, I'm like I'm hoping. Because I want, I want a VR. I, I heard like it was going to come I want, with VR. <clears throat> I want the um, PlayStation VR, and um, I'm hoping they they bundle it. That's what I heard. Hopefully. Like I'll I'll definitely buy that, and I maybe they'll like do like a a newly designed uh, headset and controllers for it for the um, just for that console. Because I'm pretty sure you're going to be able to use like the pre-existing ones on the PS5, but like they, I think they should definitely bundle that. But I think it's going to be between like, like uh, I'd say maybe four fifty, five hundred, like alone, and maybe like six hundred or six fifty with the VR. Yeah. We'll see how that goes. I, I hope that um one of my biggest issues with the PS4, it's just so it's just a little thing that I've always been annoyed about. And because I was just having this conversation with Bubba the other day, it's like um like when whenever you go to type in games, like if I go to send you a message in a message chat, whatever you know, a, a message mm -hmm. on PlayStation, or if I'm in game, for example, on ESO, and I'm trying to get out a message in the game chat whatever it takes years to open up that yeah. keyboard. it takes forever when like on pc you press enter type you press enter again you're good to go so i really hope they fix that um more than anything like that's just like a thing just a little side thing um i love the way that the uh like the what is it 
with the main menu, the PlayStation main menu. It looks amazing. Yeah. I really love that. I hope they stick with that sort of design. Obviously, make it look a little different. We got it's a new console, a new platform. Let's well from from the look of the like leak stuff that came out like a few months ago. It looks really similar. Yeah. So... Like I th- I'm pretty sure it was kind of like in rough shape on like the design for it, but it it looked really really similar with the whole like boxes and everything. Yeah. I think. That's definitely better than the way the PS3 oh, was. Oh, yeah, yeah like, definitely. PS3, they... I don't know what they were thinking. Like, can, oh, my God. Yeah. That was just stupid. Apparently, in um, around 14 days from now or something, maybe a little less now, um, they're going to be showing off the console itself and the launch titles as well. So, hopefully, we get some classics. They also announced that... Um, because, you know, they always have studios like Insomniac Games, Insomniac Games, which makes Ratchet and Clank, um, as mm-hmm. well as Santa Monica Studios, which makes God of War. Um, I can't think of all of them off the top of my head. Yo, didn't you... What's it? I don't know if you have this in your... No, just just continue. Okay. Just go on. I'll, I'll bring it up okay, go after ahead. you're done. Yeah. All right. So, um, so they have all these studios that, you know, over the years, forever, since PS1, whatever... They've made exclusive titles for PlayStation, but they weren't exclusive to PlayStation. For example, mm-hmm. my one of my favorite game companies, Insomniac Games, make Ratchet and Clank, but they also have an exclusive game, which is on the Xbox, called Sunset Overdrive. They made that for the Xbox One when the Xbox One originally came yeah. out or whatever, so they have an exclusive game over there, but now there's a thing where it's like playstation studios i think and it's just this big umbrella where all of those studios are now exclusive to playstation and they're going to be mm-hmm. making exclusive for them no matter what now and um so it's just a cool little announcement that um it's just these good game to companies really need to stay with the whole ex- like exclusive games because if you notice lately they've just kind of just ignored that yeah like with them bringing i think the um original um it might have been uh, the last of us or i'm thinking of horizon zero dawn they, they brought that to pc okay or they are bringing it to pc i think they should they need to like horizon zero dawn for example they need to keep that yeah, on that's... playstation yeah like that was a hell of a game i don't know if I, ne- ever I never played, played it. it i maybe someday i feel like i would Dude, it, the game was gorgeous. It, I, like, I beat it, freaking beginning to end. Like, it was, oh, it's such a fun game, and it, they definitely should just keep games like that in the, just PlayStation realm. Yeah. But if you want, you can take games like, um, uh, it's a zombies game. Uh, it Light. came out like, no. Dead Island. <sighs> no. Uh, is it a PlayStation it came out like, Yeah. It's like... I, I can't think about it. It's kind of like World War Z, but uh, like with the whole hordes of zombies and stuff, but it's like a single player. I'm blanking. I don't know. I, I fucking have the game, dude. Go look. Days gone. Okay. Go. <laughs> yeah. Days gone. Yeah. <laughs> I couldn't think. Of I never game. played it. I saw like that play. game. They could they could put that on PC because it was it was garbage. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah, I I literally played maybe an hour of it and I was like, yeah, I. It didn't seem too garbage. interesting to me. The graphics, of course, they looked amazing, but I didn't like really... just the concept was cool, but they just they failed and uh, the, just the combat and everything. Like even when you're like driving your motorcycle in the game it's the controls are so garbage really? like it you're literally like it's so wobbly like i know they're trying to do physics and stuff but yeah, yeah just bad um all right so first gameplay of the ps5 from unreal engine and it's also playable right now on pc what do you think about it i saw clips from it i May have watched. So I haven't watched it. Really? 
Yeah, I have not watched it at all. I think you should look that up I... real quick. Just see, just look at look it up. PS Five gameplay demo, Unreal Engine. Just have it playing while we talk about it. You don't have to watch the whole thing. I didn't see the whole thing, but it is playable. They said that they don't plan on making it into a full game. People were really impressed by it. They want it to be a full, actual title because of how nice it looks. Um, but in the demo, they talk about, you know, all the things that they're able to do. I don't remember specifics. I didn't watch the whole thing, but there's a lot of detail that they're able to do. Um, and it just looks impressive. I don't know. I just want to get your thoughts on it while, when you have it up, but it is playable. You could download it right now on PC and try it out on real engine. Yeah, it definitely, it definitely looks really nice. Yeah. But at the same time, this is running in 4k. So, you're not going to see it like that unless you have a 4K monitor or TV. Yeah. Um, but it's still going to look really good, the, but no they, matter they what. They did do a lot of impressive things, not just with the graphics, though, but I think with, like, maybe particle effects and different types of a- things that they were able to render, like, just more detail. Yeah. So, and they go into detail with that in the video. They talk about it, but... um. Oh yeah, it's it's definitely gorgeous. They, like they have more. Um, it, it, there's a part if you skip a little bit ahead too. There's a thing that they do with this girl. She's climbing the rocks. Yeah, yeah. And, I, I uh, literally just got to the part. Yeah, better animations. I think they said there's more technology with like how they animate and stuff like that. So, just uh, seems really impressive. I don't know. I'm looking forward to being able to see stuff like that in the future. So. Yeah, damn. Some good looking shit. <laughs> uh, and we were talking about speaking of launch titles, suck. I think Sucker Punch is Su- suck. Sucker Punch suck. might be one of the um, exclusives in the PlayStation umbrella now. PlayStation Studios. Those are the people that made. Not only did they they they, they made uh, Sly Cooper. I think they yeah they made Sly Cooper. But so all right. Sucker Punch made... I I really hope I'm getting this right. Sucker Punch are the developers of Sly Cooper. Um, That's like the the trio. It's like Ratchet and Clank, Sly Cooper, Jack and Daxter. That's like the classic PlayStation trilogy. People love that shit. Uh, Yeah, and I never played any of those platforms. Yeah, (laughs) people like, yeah, in my, like, realm of, like, you know, for, for like, the story stuff. Um, But, yeah, so a lot of the fans of Ratchet and... a lot of the fans of Sly Cooper want to see another Sly Cooper because Sly Coop, Sly mm-hmm. Four ended on a massive cliffhanger, and people want to see that. Whatever, so people are hoping that with the release of the PS Five, we end up seeing um, a Sly Five. And someone reached out to Sony, and they didn't deny it when they asked about it. That someone said like, "Is there going to be a Sly Five or whatever?" They didn't deny it, but they didn't confirm it. So people are uh, Dude, speculating they gotta, they gotta more. Keep that secret. But the thing is, with that, Sucker Punch are the developers of Infamous Second Son. So they oh that we were talking about yeah, this the other day. Yeah. So like they need to make another one. That's what that's what I'm thinking. As much as I hope there's another Sly Cooper. I'm sure that every new console launch that we're going to be seeing for a PlayStation platform, I feel like that's I, what they're going to do as a new infamous every time. I right, think. Maybe. I don't think they should wait so long though. Yeah. Maybe they could literally do one like every two years. They could, yeah. Like, like the that, the second Sun came out as a release title. With the PS4. And it's incredible to this day. In 2013. Yeah. And they had, like, one DLC for it. What was it called? Like, First First Light or something? First Light. Yeah. But it it wasn't the greatest, like, DLC. Um, But, like, they could have released the game. Like, another one. Or they could have added more DLC to it. Yeah. Uh, We'll yeah, see where they go with this take, one. Take what we can get. I was really impressed by because I played Infamous Two or one, or no 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 because Second Son was the second Infamous I guess you could say. But there was Infamous One, then there was Festival of Blood, which was like a sequel to Infamous One. I played one of those ones also, and it was really good. 
I was yeah, just second son was my first one and it, it blew me away. On that. It was it was incredible and I definitely do hope to see another one. It's gonna be interesting. They had so long to work on it, and it will be really interesting to see where they go with it. Um So yeah, but I don't know. Any thoughts on like games for the PS five? Oh, so what I what I was gonna say, I don't know if you sent me this or not. You I think you did on, on Twitter the other day but about dead island yes i forgot like, what it was though. <laughs> oh yeah 2021 uh, we might get I, an update on dead island that might be the release year dude oh my god i hope like i okay i what i want and think is the best thing they should do is when they release the whole uh, video with like launch titles and upcoming games and the look of the console. Um, I think they should put in as a, one of the upcoming games is dead Island two and have it release in like March of 2021. Yeah. I think that would be perfect. Like, people are just getting done, you know, playing all their the new games, getting the new console, and then they're like, yes, we got we got this game we've been waiting since the freaking, like, 2012, yeah. man. Like, Dude, because, yo, oh, man. I, I mean, we've seen gameplay from Dead Island 2, and it just looks so impressive. And it's like... But we don't even know if it looks like that anymore. I, I know. It could look completely different. But, like, I just wanted to see what the rest of the world was going to look like. You know, it was in Santa Monica or whatever. Like, you know, like getting to like the beaches and everything. Going to the beach, like, man. Yeah, I just wanted to see what it would have looked like, man. And I, I just, I hope we get a chance to see that. And I, I hope they stuck with like, obviously, maybe, obviously update the graphics so that they're HD mm -hmm. better and stuff. But I like that kind of cartoony style to it. I think it, it worked. It, it kind of felt good, you know? It uh, I think it felt cartoony because of the time. Yeah, well, I, but I feel like comparing it to like, so we have Techland. Did you play? Did you play the uh, definitive yeah, collection when they whatever? remastered them? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think it looked uh, more realistic on there. Yeah. Compared to like PS3. Yeah. But but um so I, right. I think te no. te Techland, the developers of. Well, they worked on, I don't know if they've completely developed, but they worked on the first Dead Island. Mm -hmm. um, they went on to make Dying Light, and now they're making Dying Light 2. Um, and that is like more of the realistic zombie experience that I yeah. want. You know, I love Dying parkour. Light. I re parkour, hardcore, parkour. And um, I really, parkour. I love Dying Light. I'm looking forward to seeing the second one. I think it's coming out next year. I don't, I, or maybe this year. I don't know. Dying Light 2. Um, really looking forward to that one. But I feel like that one is, is what it's meant. Like, now now that I've seen Dead Island 2 and it has, like, that cartoony mm -hmm. style, like, not so serious look to it, um, I want it to stay that way. And I want Dying Light 2 and, and not, just Dying Light in general to stay that more realistic vibe. And I hope it stays that way. I don't know. I'm just looking for... I, dude, we have to eventually get this goddamn game. I know. But between freaking Dead Island 2 and skate four like i don't know which one i wanted more <laughs> uh, it's crazy i'm just i'm afraid just to be disappointed yeah. wait like eight years just for there to be garbage you know yeah no i, agree, like I'm I not... agree i just hope it's i <sighs> the story and there were, i didn't really even care about the story in the original like Dead Island games, you know, one and Riptide. I didn't really Dude, I care. still have freaking, uh, what is his name? Sam, Sam, Who uh, do you voodoo, Sammy. bitch? Yeah, yeah, I got that song Sam on B. my freaking playlist, dude. I have dude. that too, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, like, banger. the story wasn't really that intriguing. You know, it was a journey. Like, the story took you through the mm -hmm. world of the game. That was awesome. I love that. Like, that's something that I do like about the game. Even if the story isn't really interesting, they did it in a way where it takes you through the world. That's cool. Yeah. As opposed to, like, Dying Light, where, yeah, as you go through the game, it unlocks parts of the map and stuff like that, but it... Yeah, Dying Light, I didn't really get too into the story. Yeah, I, I, did, I really did like the story of the game, but... I really did 
respect the fact that, and I, I like the fact that, um, Dying Light was more of an open world game, no matter what. Like you can go wherever you want from the start of the game, basically. So I, that yeah. that's what they wanted to go with, and that's cool. And I, I I wouldn't want them to do something that Dead Island did anyway to bring you through the whole world just as you go through the story. Mm-hmm. But I do like that Dead Island did that. You know what I mean? I feel like that is the story for me when it comes to Dead Island. Eventually, you end up on like in a prison towards the end of the game yeah. and stuff too. Like it's cool. So that's cool. But um. So yeah, I don't know. I hope to see something. I don't know. We'll we'll see how that goes with um. Dead Island 2, if we ever get to see yeah, that game. It, we better, I'm telling you. But yeah. I'll fucking, I'll go off. Dude. So, <laughs> another thing that uh, I saw t- a Twitter post, with the whole state of the world right now, they said something along the lines of, and I'm not going to get it right, but it was like, uh, with with how the world is right now, um even if they made a GTA six right now, it wouldn't even be as wacky as how the world is right now. You know, like the world that we're living in at this point is wackier than a GTA. (laughs) You know what I mean? So it will be interesting to see however many years down the road it is, what they're going to do with the next GTA. Cause they always try and parody real life. So it'll see, uh, it'll be interesting to see what they do with the state of the world. Like I really hope that they're working on it and has it has the game kind of somewhat close to done yeah. for next gen. Um, because in my opinion, I think GTA Five is kind of like beaten, like it's beaten up, and like no one, no one plays it like they used to. Like people did go wild when it was free on freaking Epic Games, but it's it's a GTA game, and if if you're not gonna try to get it for free then you're in yeah of course yeah you're dumb (laughs) but we need we need a game like that again definitely just there's i'd say there's not really any open world games multiplayer games that you can do anything you want in the only one i could think of that's like that is red dead 2 and, and even then, it doesn't because it's a different vibe. It's a different yeah. Vibe. It's not. It's not the same. Like I played, I think like twenty minutes of Red Dead Online, and I was like, ah, I'm not. I'm not into this. It's I. I can't stand the whole freaking horse and buggy. Yeah, getting or getting around, but you know, it's we need another one. It's going to be interesting to see. Um, obviously, Red Dead Two has outstanding graphics so i mean oh, yeah. gta 5 at the time it had really it impressed it great graphics you know what i mean and even to this day you can mod it and make it have even better graphics but yeah. like just to have it even with the visuals of red dead 2 in a gta like just just picturing that in my head what that would look like and i'm sure it's going to be even better by the time gta 6 oh. comes out it's going to be even better than red dead 2s yeah so it's gonna be I'm really looking forward to seeing that. You know what I mean? It's going to be interesting to see um, what they're going to be able to do. What they're mm-hmm. going to... It would be interesting to see if they did, like, seasons. You know what I mean? Like, we've seen... Oh, my God. Like, like wintertime in GTA Five, we see snow. What if we see that all the time? We don't even like, see that cycle. every year, though. It's like, it's like, if they want to put it in, they do. Yeah. If they don't... Yeah. It'll be but interesting to I see, think... though. A seasonal game would be killer, like, like, like real life seasons. If you, if like I'm thinking, I'm I'm saying like because the game takes place, GTA Five takes place in California. You don't really see much change. It looks the same basically yeah. all year round. If we went back to maybe Liberty City, New York, you know, in real life, that experiences all four seasons perfectly fine. So, yeah. a place like I that, heard ru- rumors are they it's going back to like the um, like Vice City game. Like Florida, yeah, 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 that would like, be cool. Uh, it's, I'd say that's cool, but you know, again, like, but, yeah, I want stuff. I want something different, like the I, some place we haven't seen yet, maybe. Right. The thing I liked about um, San Andreas, yeah, is they had different parts of the map. So they had, you know, the city, they had, you know, the beachfront, and then they had the hills with, like, the rednecks and stuff, like, away from everything. Yeah. 
Like we they don't the desert the really area 69. That's the, the ref. That's the reference yeah. from my discord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's area 69 <laughs> from GTA. Like in GTA five, we don't like, obviously you have um, like Polito Bay area where it's just like, you know, the rednecks and stuff like that. And all the prisons over there and uh, like Sandy shores and stuff. And then you have, you know, the city, the beaches, you know, but, there's not really like there's mountains, but it's it's nothing special. You know? GTA, yeah, San Andreas was a lot more diverse. I think we could yeah. say, yeah, Uh-oh. it would be yeah, it would be cool to see. Yeah, I think Some... it'll it'll yeah, definitely with the next game, they'll the I, I'm sure they'll be able to make a map even bigger than GTA 5's map like way bigger I'm sure they're gonna oh, yeah. do it you know, if they don't you're not, you're don't not gonna make doing. a game that isn't bigger you know what I mean like uh, every game yeah. no matter what company it is they always you're gonna make a map that's bigger than your previous yeah, title so yeah so we'll see go bigger go home we'll see what happens um it would be cool like I, I like the fact that um what what uh Red Dead 2 added like you know it, it was cool because they had their own for the, the entire game you play through the whole story and you're in a whole new map Red Dead 2 is a whole different map and then yeah. you have mm-hmm. the option after you beat the game to go and experience basically the entire map besides Mexico of Red Dead 1 optional yeah. completely optional I think that was pretty awesome so it would be cool to see like I don't know what game like what place they could do that with in a GTA world but maybe something like that I don't know whatever i think that i think it'd be cool if they did like um like the east coast yeah like i just had to go with new york city like gta 4 yeah and instead of just doing the city like maybe even like all of new york or something you could do you like could or do this. N- like new york new jersey and maybe yeah, like jersey. pennsylvania yeah, yeah 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 so you can go into like philly and stuff yeah i think that would be uh that would be pretty cool yeah definitely one, thing, just looking back on GTA Four, I know they didn't really probably even have the tech. I'm sure they didn't have the technology for it at the time. <laughs> when I was a kid, and I was like, uh, you know, driving the vehicle around GTA, trying to be realistic, stopping at the stop signs yeah, and yeah. stuff. It was cool. Like, it was so conveniently timed that the game took place in winter, so that the fucking um, the theme park was shut down. <laughs> that would have been cool yeah. to be able to, but actually, you know what? I they uh, now that I think about it, you could go on the roller coaster and stuff like that in GTA Five. So, I don't know. Yeah, they kind of made up for that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, anything else gaming wise? I don't think so. Not that I. Yeah, I have no fucking idea, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so, in well, other news, um, I got, I, got, I haven't heard anything else. I heard, really. I heard about this the other day, or maybe last week. I don't know, but I know, um, all of us, the boys, we were in a Discord call together, and it was getting rowdy, and uh, Donald's flexing the it's guns. Donald is yeah, flexing like that, the yeah. guns right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see baby. you. I see. You. Okay, so, um. We were in the Discord call, and things were getting really rowdy with the boys, and... Oh, the boys. The boys. The boys. Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're not... Okay. And, um... Private joke. Inside, yeah. Okay, anyway, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to discuss uh, that yet. We, yeah, uh... In time. In time. Yeah, yeah. In time. Um, so... Man, that would be funny to talk about what I told you earlier yeah. today about oh, yeah. Jesus Christ. All right. Got to warm up for that one. It's, it's a little too fresh. So we were, all the boys were playing some Filthy Frank, you know what I mean? Getting rowdy with it. Yeah, yeah. It turns out people tried canceling Joji because the Twitter idiots found oh, out that he's Filthy Frank and they got upset. They didn't know. That. When I saw that dude, I'm like, are you dumb? They clearly didn't do any research on this guy. Like, 
the guy made like some racist and some like dirty music and he just completely stopped that and is doing what he's doing now yeah and it's like like even fans of his are just like trying to cancel him but he, Th- like, if you're a fan of him, you should know his past yeah. and what he did. The thing is, I feel like, all right, there's a lot I could discuss about this, right? So, bear with me. He is someone who, not, all right, he is someone who is, if you think about it, very uncancelable. And we can get into this with the Keemstar thing, because mm-hmm. he is someone who is very uncancelable too, but we'll get into that. Filthy Frank is in that scene where it's like, he did all of that shit, and he became a fucking superstar on YouTube to begin mm-hmm. with. He put out music, and his YouTube fans enjoy his music. They already enjoy the racist, raunchy shit yeah. that he makes. So, he not only did he have that following from YouTube of fans that already like him from the shit that he did, now he's getting a bunch of new fans that don't understand that, and so those are the people that are getting yeah. upset. But even if those people try and cancel him, you're still going to have that core audience that loves him for, for no matter what he does. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? There's dedicated fans. So he's really one of those people that are uncancelable because you they're fans of that crazy shit that he did. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, Like, I loved Filthy Frank, man. I, it's, it's hilarious. I hated the fact that he just just got up and left like just stopped making content and just went with in the route that he's doing like i understand he has like a passion for music but come on man you could do you could do both yeah like i i saw like, like look at my boy my boy ksi for example yeah that man's every week is doing like his like sidemen videos and his own personal videos on his own channel yeah on top of like doing boxing fights and pr- like producing and making his own music like and touring for the music like he's managing to do all that at once but it, i don't understand how other people can do that like it's like filthy frank should be here i want to see i want to see a max mofo filthy frank and idubs freaking deadly twister video again like those are some or another vomit cake video like i need i need some of that so i linked you a video you don't have to watch it right now um but in that video i saw this it it was a video that he uploaded and i believe he you know deleted it and it got re-uploaded but it's a 12 minute video so you don't have to watch it now but i believe that is the video that he made talking about the fact that he quit filthy frank for i think health reasons i don't know exactly what I forgot what it was. Maybe it was just because his fucking throat was hurting from doing the voice. I don't know. But he said it was health reasons, stress, strain on his head. I forgot exactly why. But I think if you want to check that video out later, he does go yeah, into the reason. definitely check that out later. Yeah, I think he goes into the reason why he did quit. So I saw that a while ago. A couple of years ago, I think. But yeah, interesting. Very interesting. But now we could talk about someone else who is uncancelable. Uh, Daniel Keem. Uh, killer Keemstar. So I did not watch H3's video on the whole I did. scene scene scenario. But um I basically know everything. You know, I followed all the bullshit drama. Yeah, if you know Keemstar and you know, how he is, you, then you know the gist. Yeah, I'm sure they covered all the major things. Um, now, me personally, I am a huge fan of H3, um, although I haven't Ooh. watched the videos because I just don't want to recap. I know it's a recap. But I'm sure they did an incredible job with the videos. Yeah, yeah. I watch all of their podcasts. Ethan did a killer job with the, I'm those sure. two videos. Yeah. So he made two he, videos. He definitely did his research. Yeah. And um, he, it, it's one of those things that I'm sure he was pointing out, you know, everything wrong that Keem did because it just came to this boiling point. And um, without, I guess, getting into too much detail about everything that he did, one thing that I like to point out is that because, like, everyone, the whole point of this is, I guess, to just cancel the guy. Mm. And as much as I'm on H3's side with it, of course, um, Keem, as 
Hey, I'm not a fan of the guy. I, I used to love watching the dude's videos back in the day. He would, you know, you know, what's going on in the world of YouTube? What's happening with these YouTubers? It's, I, was, I was like that with like uh, Scarce. Yeah, it's interesting like to see. It it's a news source, you know, what's going on in the world of YouTube? Yeah. You know, whatever. I don't follow all of these YouTubers, but it's good to see from a news source what's happening. Um, I stopped following the whole scene of drama alert around the time of like the whole Jake and Logan Paul because I just didn't care. I didn't really, you know, mm -hmm. that's when YouTube started to really get weird for me. I really didn't care. Yeah. It wasn't really as fun anymore to keep up with that stuff anymore. And that's when you really start to see. Mine was with the, the leafy stuff. <laughs> I enjoyed that stuff, but um, it was just so much cancer. Yeah. <laughs> just... <laughs> anyway, oh, yeah. though, yeah. Um, but it, it, you really see as time goes on, and even around that leafy time period and stuff, Kim, Kim, he's always been. I think of him as the leech of YouTube. He oh. latches on, and whatever he could suck out. Pause. He uh, no. He, um, no, no, whatever, um, you know, whatever he can get out, um, information, whatever he can report on, he does, you know what I mean? If it's going to yeah. bring him views, he'll do it. Um, now I've said this before to you, you know, but like, just for the people that mm -hmm. are watching, like people have said that are friends with him. Like he's a great guy though. In real life, he's a down to earth dude. He's a really good friend of mine and I'll support him no matter what. And I'm sure he'll be your best friend, your best buddy. You can hang out with him, watch a movie and whatever. I'm sure he's the coolest guy on the block. And they, they put it on like, yeah, that scummy side of him is just his business side. That's cool. But it's the guy was doing that stuff though, before he was even making money. Yeah on youtube and it that's like, cool he's always though, just been but it's not cool when you're putting people's lives at risk the dude doxes people i really believe that he led to etika's suicide like even more so he definitely helped the, he did because him make this make the decision people were clowning etika because he was having mental out what fucking mental i'm blank out, outburst outburst yeah on, on the internet um, for months at, he, he would just have them and stuff like that and people would clown him and stuff and I understand where Keem's coming from he would think of it as a win-win give him a platform he did an interview he was like here you know speak your mind and stuff but I feel like the dude insulted him on his own platform you know what I mean he was calling him basically yeah. crazy and shit like that and yeah told him to just jump off a bridge basically yeah or I was. I didn't say. Not word for I don't word. think he said bridge. He said. Uh, I believe it was cliff that he used. But it's just like when someone has a mental illness, right? You don't know how far they're close, how close they are to being pushed over that edge, and it's like with him, Etika was being doxed all the time. You know, uh, having cops sent to his house because of these outbursts yeah. and whatnot. And um, it, it it just came to that point. Like, if if you watch the, like, you need to watch that video, the, like, the first H3 video. Like, he went into, like, full detail, like, put, like, the almost the entire interview of uh, Keemstar with Etika. And it's just... Like, he tried calling Keemstar out, calling him, you know, piece of trash. Like, you know, you're, like, you're bringing all this attention to me. Like, you're, you know, you're you're doing more harm than you're doing good in this whole situation. And, like, just basically just calling him a bad person and literally called him out on every bad thing that he's done to people. And just the whole time, like... Keemstar just thinks it's freaking hilarious and it's just it's just going with it and just keeps calling him like crazy and you know it's he yeah. Etika ended up leaving the the call yeah and then he just you know Keemstar uploaded the the whole thing and literally I think like I think it was like 6 days later or something <clears throat> he ended up killing himself and it's, 
it's like I I wasn't really a fan of him, but it's it's sad just to have someone kind of like Keemstar just belittle people the way he does. Like he just he's very heartless and self centered, and just anything else going on around him, he doesn't give a damn about. He's just focused on his life and you know how much money is in his pocket, and it's. It's really sad that Keemstar is like that. Yeah, I mean... Because that guy could have a killer... Like, he gets views on his, you know, news stuff. But he could have a killer YouTube news channel. But he's just it's such a piece of trash that it's... Like, he, he'll gain this audience that will just be... Like, he'll kind of, like, have, have, like, a cult following. And it keeps going. It's like a... A Rinse virus. and repeat. It just keeps doing this. Yeah. It just he gets his following. He does something bad, and then the following's gone. Yeah, yeah. Loses you know his views. He's not making as much money. Then he starts to build himself back up, and then says something else. And it just keeps he keeps doing that. And he just needs to not just be such trash. Like he's a walking dumpster, and I I hate it. Like I yeah. I don't. Like probably if I if I ever met Keemstar, like let's say let's say we got popular or whatever, yeah. like I'd call him out on his stuff, and then if he, you know, does something or whatever, it just won't won't shut his mouth around me, dude. I'd probably hit him. Yeah. Like, I I don't like the guy at all. Like he's just he's just bad. Yeah. And I wish I wish YouTube would actually have the balls to get rid of someone like that. Like, I think they should kind of, like, ban him from the platform. Like, they have banned his name, so he can't have his own YouTube channel. You know, he has his own YouTube channel, but he, you know, doesn't at the same time. But, like, if if he's featured in any video, like, you should get... Your video removed. Sort or, of like that Alex you know. Jones situation. I think he got banned from yes. the internet. You know what I mean? Basically. Yeah. Like he could be, I, I think Alex Jones could be featured on podcasts and stuff like that if he shows up. But like, I don't think he could have his own platform anymore. Something like, like that. YouTube has the ability to do that for Keemstar. They just. I mean, they did it. Like with, he's um, helping them make money. So they they don't care. J Station. They did it with J Station. Yeah. Remember, didn't they take his channel down or something like that? I think something. I, I think know. they. I think they did it for a bit, it's but whatever. I think he's he might be back. I think he's. I think he still has his channel. Yeah, whatever. But, it's, but yeah, yeah, Keem's one of those guys that are just uncancelable. I heard he got his G Fuel sponsorship taken away. Well, in in the video, he said that um, he left G Fuel. No, you didn't. You didn't leave. You're you're uh, you're a liar. He's dude. tweeting out code they, Keem. You know? I know they got rid of you because you're garbage, and they they finally realized it with the amount of people that are constantly telling them that you're garbage and you shouldn't be, you know, associated with the brand. I love myself some some G Fuel, dude. I had some today. You know, the grape flavor, dude, is pretty killer. But like, Keemstar, man, I don't I don't want that man associated with uh, the stuff I put in my body. <laughs> Every day, yeah. Like, G Fuel is like my coffee, dude. I I have it every day. Gotta. Some good stuff. That's cool. Yeah. Um. It just, man, it sucks because we're coming up on the like one year anniversary of losing Etika, and I, I I'm someone who. I didn't watch a lot of his content, but I did before he passed. I actually did start to check his stuff out because my friends really loved his shit. And mm. he was one of those guys where it's like you could kind of be friends with him. You know what I mean? He's just one of the boys in a way. And he's he's one of he those. He was a cool dude. He just had some. Etika wasn't one of those guys who tried to impress people. Mm-hmm. He was one of those people who were was naturally funny, like. Yeah. He's one of those people and he that, just didn't give a damn. Yeah, that you were driven to him. He didn't go into your face and say, "Here I am, come on." No, 
And that's one of the things that sucks because he was a part of our community. You know what I mean? He was a part of the gaming mm-hmm. community. He was one of the – he played Super Smash. You know, I, I, that's not my thing, but, like, you know, it's, it's in the gaming community and shit. And I don't know if in the H3 video they featured his final video, Etika, before he died, as he was walking – to the bridge he recorded a video and scheduled it to upload after he you know jumped no they they didn't they didn't show um, that as he was walking and saying his final goodbyes he mentioned let this be a message to everyone that this you know the internet shit it's not a joke you know what i mean you got to take this shit serious because it could really get to people and uh i don't know i feel like keem doesn't really still understand that you know what i mean yeah, I don't know, <laughs> but man, screw Keem's there, man. It is what it is. You know? He needs to get. He needs to actually get canceled. <laughs> like, but uh, in interesting news, a couple weeks ago, I guess maybe a month or two ago, I don't know. Leafy came Devin back. Devin found you. out he was pregnant. I am no. Uh, Leafy came back to YouTube though. He just makes these meme videos, short, less than ten minutes long, I believe. Whatever. Um interesting uh he just shit talks he doesn't really you know make anything like he used to do um and he just, he's just mean i couldn't i couldn't even watch any of his new videos <laughs> yeah it's just so cringe he, i'm just like he oh. just memes on you know how everything is right now and i think it was funny because i don't know if he said it in like a youtube video but i did see on twitter that he uh he's just memeing on the fact that like the whole beef between him and keem back in the day was all for money he was like, yeah, we just did it for money. You guys are fucking stupid. You know, whatever. But I don't know. It's interesting to see. It's weird. Dude, this fucking year is so weird. Dude, this weird is just bad. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, why does it? It's weird. Just everything going on from like, I'd say from like February to like now is just. <sighs> we have the virus happening. Everyone's on lockdown. We have. Leafy coming back, dr- more drama between Kim. We got all this freaking political crap going on because the election's the end of this year. Just a lot of drama and stuff. I don't know. It's just an interesting time. It really is. But. Oh, man. I think, uh, I don't know. What else do we have? Is that it for now? I don't know. We've been going for an hour and 17 minutes say that might be might be it um yeah i'd say i'd say so i think uh i think that's a it's a good one it's not the almost like what two hours that we did last time yeah i think we just got carried away in conversation yeah yeah yeah. um all right so that's basically it we should be back next week more shit to say hopefully yeah yeah and hopefully uh, Hermcat. Hopefully there'll be some gameplay coming up soon. Ooh, to speak about that Maybe stuff. Consistently, what we, if possible. What do we think they're going to be doing for E3 this year? I heard they're not doing it. Do you think they're going to do like an online thing though? Like, do you think each company is going to do like their own separate things then, I guess? Yeah. I, Just showcases I, streamed? I think, honestly, I think E3 is just going to start going away. Because all of these companies are starting to do their own thing, like like PlayStation's got their state of play, oh. where the, it's like their monthly thing that they do, mm-hmm. where they're releasing new games, you know, new products, yada yada. Um, then you have uh, Nintendo Direct, yeah, and they it's their own thing. Um, the only other thing is xbox and i don't know what they have because i don't pay attention yeah. to their shit at all <laughs> yeah we'll see but uh, yeah i think I, I give it maybe another five years and then e3 is gonna be done it's just gonna stop since the internet's well, taken over so one thing that i i, I feel like they might keep doing it is because I, I something that i've heard you know apparently like you know i i don't look into the shit i don't care about investments and all that stuff but apparently like e3 is really big for investors like they go there and they actually get to see the games and like talk to the i guess Mm -hmm. developers in person or whatever so that they know if they want to invest in the game and you know obviously developers rely on stuff like that because i guess that helps them fund the game i don't know 
too much about the whole stuff, but apparently that's what E3 really is good for. They have a whole section of the um, convention <clears throat> dedicated to like investor rooms. You know, they go in and I don't know, do their thing. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see how stuff goes. Um, hopefully, we get another battlefield soon too. Hopefully, it's modern. What do you yeah, think? with our luck, we'll get another World War fucking World War Three. I think it's about time uh, yeah. that we get a, a, a modern battlefield. Because like, what could they do? What what war could they do now? You know what I mean? We've had World War One, World War Two, and these more recent ones, right? Ooh, we, they could go back Cold to war? the Civil War. <laughs> Riding on uh, a horse. I just man, I I just want more <laughs> modern games. I'm so sick of going back in the past. Yeah. I think that's a lot of people's Freaking favorite. Call of Duty was doing it. Freaking... It's cool because it's more relatable. You know? Yeah, it's... I like to be able to play in, in the era I'm in. Yeah. Not like my dad's era. <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. But, I don't know. Yeah, new Battlefield, Sheet. hopefully. Um. I guess that's it. Fuck. I don't know. All right. Um... Yes, so Graymore chapter coming out on Tuesday, yes. so I'm gonna be. Ooh, yes, I am gonna be man. gone. Um, also, we are. Uh, oh, I wanted to point this out because I think it might be cool for the hub eventually in the future. You know, whenever. I don't know if you've seen this, but um, there is, and this is also on Steam, but it's like an Xbox thing. So they have the Halo master chief collection or whatever it is but basically yeah, it's like all the halo games. yeah there it's not completed yet though so if you buy it now basically or whenever you want to buy it it doesn't matter but right now if you buy it you'll get halo one which you could it, it's remastered different graphics mm-hmm. you play it I've seen the cutscenes. They completely did redid the cutscenes to make them look cinematic like a movie yeah. completely different way way revamped um and at the push of a button you could change it back to the old graphics and old cutscenes just like that like instantly change back you press yeah, the button it's like the uh the rtx i don't know like feet kind of thing yeah. like they're doing with minecraft but um and and, and i had it's that like i had that one because it was like the halo anniversary edition i had that mm-hmm. back on the xbox 360 like when they actually did that, they remastered it, and then you could switch between the yeah. graphics. I had that on the 360; it was cool. But now that's on the um on PC and the Xbox One. Also, with this whole bundle, though, they just did Halo Two now, and the, for the rest of the year, they're going to keep doing the rest of the Halo. So Halo Three, Halo ODST, Halo Reach, and I don't know if Halo Five is going to be in there because that's new. That's like the, mm-hmm. a new one too. So whatever. But like you know, Ooh. all of those ones, um. They're going to be coming out this year, so yeah. Halo 3 was one of my favorites back then. I've oh, only ever played a Reach, and it wasn't even like that much that I played I've it. had so much. I remember coming home from school with the boys, and we would hop on Halo 3 multiplayer and just fuck around in the custom lobbies. It was really fun. Halo 3 Story Mode was incredible, but I think that that would be like a cool series that maybe we could do for the channel, because you could play them co-op. I think every single Halo game is co-op, so that might mm-hmm. be something cool that we could do for the channel. If, you know, eventually just to keep like an ongoing uh, thing, we're, we're going to have raft coming up soon to, to, we're going to continue raft and shit, but yeah, maybe some more MC yeah. counter strike, but just as a thing, maybe some other stuff. We just gotta yeah. figure that out. And, and the, the cool thing I like about that, it's only 40 bucks and you would get like four or five games or something like that. So I don't know. It's mm-hmm. a, it's a lot of content for a really good price. So I don't know. We'll see eventually if we want to do that, but yeah. Stuff to come. Yeah, yeah. So with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, Hermcast episode four. See you later. <laughs>